A wise man once said, when you find something that works, you must never skimp on making more of it. Stir fries and meat sauces work in my family. And when I throw those vegetables in there, ah, it brings us even closer together. Friends, join me today and let's make our chicken and vegetable sauce. I start off by cooking the rice first. This is jasmine rice and as you can see, the water I'm cooking it in is thoroughly clear because we wash it clear. If you want your rice to cook fluffy, that's the way to go. And to season, I've added salt, all-purpose seasoning, I also added unsalted butter, and here is a bundle of scallion and thyme. That will be my aromatic. It will infuse a beautiful aroma into the rice. Stir everything together to combine. Cover the pot, set it on the stove on medium to low heat, and cook undisturbed for 20 minutes. While our rice cooks gently with the steam trapped inside the pot, we're going to move on to the preparation of our chicken and vegetable sauce. Let's prep some vegetables, shall we? Beautiful people, friends and family, greetings, blessings, much love to you all. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the process. Twenty minutes later, my vegetables are prepped to perfection and my rice is also cooked fluffily. Turn the stove off, remove the aromatics and don't discard because you can use it again to cook some more rice. I go in with a fork and I fluff everything up. The butter gives it a beautiful flavor. It also helps the grains to separate even more. So just fluffing it up, now the lid I threw on this pot does not have a vent on it, so it traps every steam there is. Therefore, I am able to cook the rice without disturbing it at all. All right, so now let's move on to our very last prepping step, which is the chicken. I do that last because I want to prevent any cross-contamination. Now, the chicken I cut into bite-sized pieces, and these are chicken thighs, skinless and boneless. Trimmed most of the fat off. I go in with some light soy sauce. And here is some oyster sauce. Now oyster sauce has a little sugar in it, so it'll help create that glaze-like effect I love on my stir-fried meat. I've added some salt. Here is some garlic, some crushed white pepper, some ginger, all minced, all-purpose seasoning, also the cornstarch to help create that crust and keep the juices within the chicken. I've also added a little bit of cooking olive oil into it which turns the additional ingredients added into a proper marinade. Set aside for 10 minutes at room temperature because the chicken was slightly frozen before being prepped. Here are the vegetables that have my carrots, onions, cabbage, and bell peppers. All ready to go on that catwalk that is our stir fry. I also have some ginger prepped into matchsticks, some shallot onions, minced garlic, and yes, I am adding some tomato sauce. And then I have my all-purpose seasoning, one minced green habanero chili, crushed white pepper, some oil. And to bring the sauce factor together, I combine water, cornstarch, and flavor it up with some oyster sauce. Followed by a bit more of that light soy sauce going in right now. When done with combining these ingredients, you want to stir it together to combine and set aside until it is ready to join the catwalk. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Friends, invest in a nonstick frying pan or wok. This one is a safe kind because the nonstick material does not flake into your cooking. It is 
anodized, all right? It takes the frustration out of your stir fries and all your pan searings. Invest in one if you can. All right, so some oil has gone in. We're cooking on high heat and everything is going to move so fast right now. Enjoy the process. I cook the chicken on both sides three minutes each. So it's cooked through. Perfect. We're going to pour it out and we're going to cook in batches of three. And see, there's still a lot of the oil left in the nonstick pan, so I don't need to add any more. That's another advantage of using a safe nonstick wok or frying pan. You don't need to use a lot of oil in your cooking. Done. Look at the caramelization, that glaze on the chicken. This is a step you must not miss, friends and family. It is everything. Let's put it all together. So now we have our meats and we have our vegetables. We need to start thinking of a unifier. That is the sauce part and we're going to cook that right now. We begin with some oil and add our ginger, which I prepped into matchstick soup. Beautiful, I love it. Cook that for about 45 seconds and add your minced habanero chili. Cook that an additional 10 seconds or so. Go in with your minced shallots and cook that till everything looks translucent. You might also see some caramelization. That should make you happy, all right? Now we'll go in with our minced garlic. Now we're cooking on medium heat in order that these ingredients develop organically, naturally, okay? So I've added my crushed white pepper followed by all-purpose seasoning and a bit of salt. The aroma is, oh my gosh, friends and family, Give this one a shot. Everyday simple ingredients. What a difference it makes. So our base for our sauce is coming together well. I have just now added my tomato sauce. And you might wonder, tomato sauce in a dish like this, it is not very traditional. But it works. So if it works, don't skimp. You must make more of it. This recipe is tried and true, beautiful people. I tested this because I actually have to put this together for an event coming up next year. And I have been asked to graciously assist with the catering. So I decided to test it and it turned out so good, I had to share it. So I have cooked the tomato sauce in here for about two minutes. And when it started looking like a marmalade, I went in with the slurry. I stirred it together first because the cornstarch tends to settle on the bottom. And this is a perfect consistency you should be aiming for. Our sauce is ready, so now I go in with my vegetables. Our chicken and vegetable stir fry is coming together. Friends and family, are you loving the process, enjoying it to the max? Make sure you leave me a thumbs up. That's the only way I'll know. <laughs> and also make sure you're sharing the recipe, you're sharing this video so that it can reach everyone you know. I've gone in with the onions. And let's not forget about your uplifting comments. I'm very grateful for each and every single one of them. When I added the onions, I just stirred it in and now I'm adding the bell peppers. Everything is going in super fast right now because we want these vegetables to stay crunchy. Yes. <laughs> All right, stir everything in. Remember the goal 
is to not cook these vegetables, just to warm them up because you want them to stay crunchy. <laughs> now we go in with our chicken. Everything is in the wok. So just stir everything together at this point. Your heats must be completely turned off. You see that sauce? This sauce. This sauce, friends. This sauce. <laughs> Give it a shot, friends. This was really good. And I cannot wait to represent at that event next year with this lovely beautiful dish. Friends and family, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned a thing or two and are inspired to try the recipe. Here is our fluffy buttery aromatic rice. And of course, our show stopping bit. The reason why we have gathered here today, friends and family. <laughs> Our show stopping chicken and vegetable sauce. When I tested this previously before sharing this video and the children took a bite of it for the first time, they thought, honestly, this is what they said. They said, mommy, this stir fry tastes different. And I asked my oldest daughter, what do you mean? She said, in a good way, in a good way, of course, in a good way. <laughs> The tomato sauce makes all the difference, friends. It does. It brings you sweetness, more of it, and a depth of flavor in that sauce. And it also introduces a slight bit of tang, which is absolutely necessary because it brings that balance you need. Friends and family, I hope you have enjoyed the process, the video. Make sure you share. Make sure you leave me a like. And more importantly, I want to read those comments. Make it a great day, friends and family, and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below. And don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. It is chop time. And here in Anaba's Kitchen, chop time is always yes, friend. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here. <laughs>